Okay, the final section of the uh, project uh, navigator is the organizer is the publisher, and I'm going to show it to you using the organizer because this is another one that I find is really much more useful in the two pane mode. The publisher is set up for creating output multiple uh, drawings or sheets at once. And I've got two, a publisher set that's plans only and a publisher set that's the entire output sheet. And I'm also going to go through and create one other one for you that's for DWGs to send to a consultant perhaps. But uh, to look at this, there's um, two ways I can go about doing this. First, I'm going to create the DWG one. So, if I move up above the publisher sets, it now lists all of my publisher sets, and in here I'm going to create a new publisher set that I call DWG Plans. Because, and then I'm going to highlight it and look at its publishing properties. It says, where am I going to do, what am I going to do? I'm going to save files. Where am I going to save them to? I'm going to browse, and on the desktop, I'm going to create a new folder that I call Publisher Files. Um, normally, you would put this as a subset, subfolder in your project uh, file uh, on your document settings, and I'm going to use a real folder structure and hit OK. Now, when I open this sheet, I'm going to save specific views. I don't want to save out the drafting views. I want to send views to, that, the, that show only what the consultant needs to see and not all the extra clutter. So I'm going to grab the two floor plans and drag those over here. And it adds those two drawings over here. And by default, it happened to have made them uh, PDFs for me. So I can highlight them and switch them to DWGs and under options tell it what translator I want to use and I'm going to um, put them for further editing for the client to work on. Okay, and as you can see I'm just sending them out. Now, I could also have said, oh, well, I need to send him floor plans and um, elevations or uh, dimension floor plans and ceiling plans and stuff like that, in which case I might come over here and say, let's make a folder and call this floor plans. And put these inside the floor plans folder and then another folder that I call ceiling plans and drag the ceiling plans over into that one for him. And again, each of these I'm going to switch to be DWGs as well. Okay, and you can see that in these cases they look like just simple folders. Now, um, when I come over to one of my other ones, I've got one here called Plans Only. Essentially what I've done is I did the same thing where I took a sheet, a folder, but instead of bringing over views, I brought over sheets. This is sheet three, first floor plan sheet. Sheet four, basement plan sheet. Sheet nine, 10, 11, and 12, which were the ceiling and electrical plan sheets. And I put them in, they made them each PDFs and put them inside of one folder. But when it's a PDF, I get the option to merge those into a single PDF so you get a multi page page PDF file. If I uncheck that, you see it goes just back to the plain folder icon. And if I look at the whole PDF output, it's all of the drawings, again, set to be merged. But if I uncheck that, you'll see it has that clone icon because in that case, what I did was I highlighted the whole layout book and said add as a shortcut, which says put 
all of those drawings on as one. By the same token, I could have in my um, plans only, instead of doing plan sheets like this, I could have said, okay, um, in my layout book, create um, a new subset which acts as a folder and put specific drawings inside of that subset. Then I could have taken that subset and added that subset only as a short shortcut as well. Then in the future if I add other sheets to that subset they automatically get added to that folder. Now in this case I don't want that so I'm going to go back to my layout and pull them out of the subset. Again I have cover page, general notes, and then basement floor plan and get rid of subset. Okay now the last thing is once I have these various um, publisher sets defined I could go to and again, each of them has publishing properties that you can set up the location. And once all those are defined, I can come through and highlight either, either go to one set and publish this set, select that items are all set. So I could actually come through here and highlight two or three sheets and publish just those selected items. But normally I'm going to publish either the whole set or publish all the sets. I'm going to do that right now and it's going to go through and it's saving, it's going through my PDF output options, saving each one of those. And now it's doing my plans only and now it's doing the different DWGs that I told it to create from the different views. Okay, when it gets done, I could double click on any of these for more information about whether it was successful or not. I'm going to close it, and then I'm going to go to the Finder. And on the Finder, I have this Publisher Files folder, and in here I have the various DWGs I made. I'm going to open those with my eDrawings viewer here so we can see what came through in each of these. Oh, nice simple basement plan. And same thing with the ground floor ceiling plan. and the ground floor floor plan. And you can see all of that came through to the DWG file for my consultant to use. The other thing is I have this sample folder. This is where the PDF sheets were done. Here is the plan sheets only. And when I open it up it's got those various sheets in here. And only those sheets. So, you know, this might be something I send to one particular contractor. You know, gee, somebody who's working on the interior um, furniture layouts doesn't need to see a site plan or something. And here's the full sheet. And if I make changes to the project back in ARCHICAD, You know, something like remove the front door completely. Not that I'd necessarily want to do that. I could again publish all the sets and it'll go through and recreate each of these.
correct. So again, it's updated with the new time. Again, I open it up. The front door is gone on all the different sheets. And if I, same thing, if I look inside my publisher files, each of these is also going to be updated and not have the front door on them as well. So if after publishing I wanted to keep a record set, I could then drag a copy of these to a different location or rename the file so that when I republish the new set doesn't automatically replace the old one or something like that. But that's it for the organizer and the publisher working together to create from my um, different windows in the project map to find specific views saved in the view map, have those views placed on the layout book, and then also have those views or the layout books placed in publisher sets.